your coaching style very different from many coaches today. Coaches today walk up and down the sideline. They're constantly shouting instructions to the players during the game. And you sat on the bench and were, often were quiet during the game. Well, uh, good Lord, and his infinite wisdom treated us all differently, you know. Mm. And because one does something doesn't mean they're wrong and you're right or vice versa. But I felt that, uh, that to my players would have more, um, be more under control if I seem to be under control. If I get out of control, how can I tell them to be under control? How can I tell them that if they lose their self-control, they're going to be outplayed when I apparently am losing my self-control on the bench? So I tried to do that uh, as part of the example. The example is uh, the greatest teaching thing we have. Uh, I once heard something said, uh, no written word, no spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. Well, a coach, that's all he is, is a teacher. And I think your actions can determine to a great deal the actions of those under your uh, supervision. So uh, I, I tried. I try to, uh, not to get too involved. Yeah, you're going to get excited, you know. Mm -hmm. But I taught 40 years, and I had two technicals, and one I didn't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 didn't, <clears throat> I didn't mention the fact that there might have been many times I would have deserved one and didn't get it, but <laughs> forget those.